Good morning. My name is Ingrid Isaac. And I'm a resident of Val St. Trace Number One St. Joseph, which is on the river bank. Last year, the ending of last year actually when we had that big river where places washed away. This is what happened to us here, the bank washed away, right? It's threatening my home. There's a water pump running across the river, it's also threatening up today. I made a report to the relevant authorities. Nothing came out of it. I mean, now the dry season is here. We should have some assistance, but nobody came. Nobody came and saw anything. So I don't know what will be happening. I don't know if they're waiting for the river to come and finish wash our the houses in the savannah here or what. I did went to Mr. Deal Singh's office. Actually, I called them. Mr. Douglas um, spoke with someone from another MP office and he said he would look into it. They sent somebody ending of December and he saw up to now, well, nothing, nothing came out of it again, right? So, uh, I don't know. I hope that you all would be able to highlight this and something would come out of it before it gets more worse. It's not just threatening my home alone or the other houses here, it's also threatening that, that bridge that's running across the river there where that's the PBR actually, so it's threatening there also. Well, in 2018, when it first started to cave down here in the basket, what they had to start to wash away, we did tell Mr. the thing about it. Someone by the name of Shane came and saw it, and, and they made promises that they would come back and do something about it. I mean, not to now, nothing. If you, you're seeing where the baskets actually were, right? And how much of the land has gone, right? If you watch here, you will see that the coconut trees are also on the bridge. If, if, if a river come again, that's it for us. And all there will continue going, so... You, you can see the edge there where the coconut tree is. Um, that's barely holding on. I don't know. I just feel that, 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 that... I feel neglected. That's how I feel, right? Because, I mean, it's a situation where I cannot do something about it by myself and we are willing enough that if, if it's labor-wise and we could have to help put out labor, we would, we would try and do that. But, I mean, they're not coming into us and offering no, no assistance, nothing. They even come with some comforting words to say, well, you know, they're coming and telling us, well, we'll do it. It was just to pacify ourselves, you understand? They're not doing that. Because this one, once it starts like this, right, and the river comes back, it will have to be big and close, but it will continue rolling in the land, it will continue. So we are fearful, and look at now where it's right, and we'll be getting rain in between, so we don't know what likely to happen. I mean, what about if we sleep in when the night reach, and then it's it, something like this happen, what will happen to us? We have kids here too. Right now, this, 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 this river bank in a mess. It's in a real state, a decomposing state. 